Hey guys, it's Stag here and today I'm going to be showing you the best XR2 class setup that I've come up with so far. This weapon was never one of my favourites until I tried this class, but now, now that I've got this class set up I can use it for most gun battles. Originally, obviously I didn't like it, it took too many bursts, but now with this it's a 1-2 burst kill and it's really easy to use. So as you can see, I've chosen to have the ELO sight on it. Now this is only because this helps me with those head glitches and the very long distance kills. Other than that, I don't mind the iron sight on this weapon. It's pretty easy to use, but I just can't control the recoil when I'm going for those head glitches for some reason. But the ELO sight allows me to do that. Allows, it feels like there's a lot less recoil and then allows me to uh, get that kill. So as for the rest of the attachments on this weapon, I've chosen Rapid Fire, the most important attachment on the gun. This dramatically increases the rate of fire on this weapon, it feels so much different to the normal weapon and that is what makes this weapon better than the N8 in my opinion. It absolutely smashes all assault rifles on distance, other than the Shiva. So if you want a burst fire or automatic weapon that is amazing on distance then this is the one for you with rapid fire. Now the next attachment that I've got is quick draw. The reason I've chose this is so that I can aim down sight quickly. I feel this weapon isn't very good at close combat so the quick draw is going to help you aim down sight your opponent quicker but every now and then just like that you're going to have to rely on the hip fires and hope that you get them. And then the last attachment you're going to run is stock. Now this is just to aim down sight and strafe left and right quicker. It gives you an advantage over anyone camping, anyone head glitching because you can just strafe around the corner, fire your shot and get back to cover quickly. Very good attachment to have and works very well on this class. So now let's take a look at the perks I've chosen. And as you can see I've got no first perk as usual. Using an assault rifle you don't really need one because you're going to be trying to keep enemies at distance most of the time. Unless you're rushing but I would not use this weapon as a, a rushing class because it is just unreliable when it comes to the close combat. If someone gets an SMG on you you're most likely going to lose that fight. But the perks I have chosen is hardwired and fast hands for my second perk. Now the reason of these, I don't want to show up on enemy six sense if the people are coming near me. I don't want to get tracked by someone so they can follow me. I also want fast hands so I can aim down sight quickly. Combined with quick draw, I've said many times before, are the best two things you can run in this game if you're going to be rushing or doing anything like that. But if you need to get your gun up quick, then these are the two things you want and you're going to shit on people. You're going to, it's going to give you a massive advantage. Now the last perk you're going to want is Dead Silence. Now this is for relocating position when you get a kill if you're moving on to a new area you've not been there. Then you want to you want to have the advantage when you're running in there in the way that you don't want people sound whoring you and stopping your score streaks. Because this weapon, it will help you get those but as soon as you get some close combat, if you get people rushing you it's going to be a lot more difficult if they're getting close. Now as for the score streaks when I use this, I'm normally going for a support. I'm, I only use this class when I'm playing in a team, but uh, obviously I'm going to be running the UAV, counter UAV and hater, just helping my team out, helping myself know where they are. But that's it for this video guys, please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and also subscribe for more videos I will be posting soon. If there's a weapon you would like to see, leave it down in the comments and I'll get onto it as soon as I can, but for now, I'm out.